So you were also learning this just now in Cleveland during this period? Yeah. Yeah. What's your typical work day like? Let's say you have this new program to learn. Do you divide up your workload in a certain way? Do you, do you plan it ahead of time? Or you just say, this is what I feel like practicing right now. Let's, yeah, see, yeah, how, yeah. let's see how much I can do from that. Yeah, well, uh, the second. Yeah, the second way. When it's, uh, depends what, also what is in the ears, for example. Mm -hmm. If I wake up and uh, I have a um, Schoenberg Opus 11 in my in my head. Does that ever happen? Yeah. You wake up with Schoenberg in your ears? During the last weeks, it was uh, every day I was waking up with Schoenberg in my head. That's amazing. So, so I, was practicing, I started the day with practicing Schoenberg as a result. So. Yeah. So you, so you wake up and the first thing you do is go to the piano? Yeah, because I hear... Isolation uh, in the music can only deepen the understanding of music. Mm -hmm. That, uh, of course, it's, uh, I always enjoy coming back to Cleveland and to Moscow where I have uh, great friends and uh, b sometimes, uh, sometimes I travel with my girlfriend and mm -hmm. sometimes um, when people, uh, like, uh, my man managers they sometimes go on a concert, I always enjoy their company as well. But at the same time, of during the performance, it's very important to be not distracted mm -hmm. yeah, during the concert. When, when there is, I remember when I was playing, for example, uh, in a Carnegie Hall um, last February. Your solo recital. Yeah, solo recital. And what I said, like for, for the two days, please, no, no, no any contact. No contact with yeah. anyone, with any of the outside world. Yeah, basically. So you showed me what you do for a warm-up for inner musical impulse with exaggerations to get everything open. But are there also examples where you need to activate sensitivity or fragility instead? How do you do that? Of course, it's also a very important uh, process. And um, in this way, yeah, basically you also have to exaggerate, but uh, in the way of uh, sweetness and tenderness of, of a phrase. If, if the phrase is, for example, the, from a Tchaikovsky concerto again, the second subject. establishing closer connection to the to the music mm -hmm. when when you feel that uh, if there is no physical distance between like fingers and uh, that, that, that like if fingers go directly from your heart It can be, it can be the sort of
just dreaming. Awesome, man. When... forget about music. What do you do for fun? What's in your world? Any kind of activity from 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 a literature to uh, any sport activity or yoga and there is not many there is not much time mm -hmm. for for any other activity because well, of, of course of course there are plenty of uh, great movies and uh, great literature but at the same time and plenty of fun ways to spend a day but uh, at the same time when you have a new uh, pieces by Stravinsky, Schoenberg, Ravel and Symphonic Ages of Schumann the there is not much opportunity to find uh, those well. other things. Another thing you called me up and told me was that the best way to practice is underwater. Uh, that's I recent, just recently discovered. Okay, so you're you're underwater up to your shoulders, and you're actually playing through. Well, well, like like if you uh, many pianists, we, we 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 when we warm up uh, uh, before the concert, we just do it in the air. The, yeah, same, the same, okay. the same, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the same way as as uh, we warm up in the air, uh, it's uh, also in the water. But in water, you have to uh, have much more um, strength of, of doing it because you cannot just play from fingers. Mm -hmm. because, because in the air, yes, it's, but it doesn't have any resistance. So, but but in the water, in order just to play a simple chord, you need to work through the whole of your upper body. Mm -hmm. And it really opens up. Yeah. As well as another way, uh, physical way of, uh, is um, to just to stretch your arms, mm -hmm. simply to stretch your arms, is uh, to put the chair in, in this position okay. and uh, just lay basically in this way. Mm -hmm. So okay. you have this kind of um, stretch mm -hmm. during the whole arm from, from a shoulder. Also, also, you mainly your station your shoulder because you cannot play. Was you that something you just devised yourself? Yeah. Uh, what is? As you basically you are, you are unable to bend anything here, mm -hmm. also your finger. So you are basically stretching. Oh, is it is it okay with microphone? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, we have to think of uh, differences which is possible to find. For example, um, of, of course, 99% of them you will not use on your performance, but mm -hmm. just to v get your imagination expanded and emotions rolling, it's, it's really helpful, mm -hmm. I, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's uh, f when, you, when you just start. of uh, so what, what comes first to the mind and for the, for the viewers of this show who don't know th that was improvisation on the themes <laughs> of within the concerto so no, is that what you're actually doing backstage in your mind well I uh, no, maybe not in exactly the same way it's just what, what comes of uh, uh, some motif played in the uh, some different ways mm -hmm. and 
it's just something to, uh, of course, find you will, oh, on a concert you will, you will play it uh, as it should be. But the problem is that if you, are, you will roll several times the same model of playing mm -hmm. as you think you should play on the concert, then you will put yourself a little bit in a cage of, uh, of only one way and it actually will make you feel nervous and uncomfortable. If you're trying to stick to a routine that you're doing exactly how you planned it. But I if you are, for example, in this way, or you're kind of trying to find the ideal way of, like, uh, in this moment, like h how how you feel it should sound, then it usually do doesn't work because uh, this way you are sticking yourself on the on the only one path and uh, you are narrowing the ways of playing. So does it? It's like it's like you know, it's like you are you're narrowing. It to such a way that it becomes like a, um, you're walking on a knife. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure.